Hello, I'm Stephen Christensen from Star Circle Academy. Star Circle Academy's mission in life is to find interesting places and compelling night skies and take pictures of them. We also like to teach others how to do that as well. Today's tutorial is about how to stack images. Stacking is an interesting process whereby you take multiple images and combine them together. I will be talking about Picasa, Picasa 3 that is, which is available for multiple platforms and I will also be talking about Image Stacker and Star Trails. Let's start with Picasa 3. It's available from Google for free and I will definitely not be covering everything you can do with it. What I'm going to show you here are images that I took at Emerald Lake which is in Sequoia National Park. On the event of this uh, hike, which is an overnight hike, there was quite a bit of smoke, and you'll notice that in the images. In fact, the very first image was taken at, uh, it shows the time here, 8.24 p.m. This was taken using ISO 400 and at f3.5 at 16 millimeters for 10 minutes. I did this using an intervalometer, which is described in another tutorial. you notice as you go through the images that the sky progresses rotating. It actually appears to rotate in the opposite direction of the Earth's rotation. You'll also have noticed, if you look carefully, the very first image has a nice purple color, which is typical of the night skies in the high altitudes. Thereafter, it gets a little pink brownish, and that's again probably due to the smoke. What I've done with these images is I uh, took them off my card, I exported them using Digital Photo Professional, and then I downsized them using Picasa itself, which added this uh, copyright. The reason I downsized them is just to make this tutorial go a little faster. The photos again started at 8 in the evening and ended at 12.44 in the morning. What about stacking? Well, stacking is primarily intended to take pictures and combine them in a way that makes it look like there's one long shot. What do I mean by one long shot? Well, if you were to take one uh, image that's 20 minutes long, that will work, but you'll get quite a bit of noise. If you were to take two images that are 10 minutes long, that will also work, and you'll get less noise. But if you were to take 10 images of two minutes each, then you'll still get the same net result, but you'll get much lower noise, because noise is a function of the length of the exposure. So knowing this, what I do is I will take these images, all of them, all 27 of them, and select them. I will then drag them into Image Stacker. Image Stacker has several options. It has something called Stack, which adds all the images, Average, which averages all the images, and Brighten. The normal mode that you're going to want to stack things in is Brighten. What does Brighten do? Brighten takes the brightest pixel from each image and then uses that in the final image. I'm going to hit Create. This is busy running and stacking these images, but while that's doing that, I will also show you that you can do the stack. You'll notice I'm changing the extension as follows. I want to make sure that I keep the separate stack for Brighton mode. That's also running. And I will also do the average changing the extension as well. And I'll create those. You'll notice they're popping up on my screen one at a time. Uh, Picasa monitors this file and off it goes. So let's see what happened with the Brighton mode, which is this image here. Zoom in a little bit. What you can see is that the purple sky, which was the brightest sky, was maintained. The other skies that were in each of the images were a little darker, so the purple background sky won, which is good. We, we like that. You will also notice that all of the star trails have been added together and the reflections as well. So that's Brighton. That's usually what you want. If you were to simply add all of the images together, this is what you would get. It's a very bright image. That's because literally each t uh, total was added together. You'll also notice a little more noise in this image because all the noise is going to get added together as well. This, however, can be useful. You can use this brighten mode to bring out highlights in the background. In fact, this looks like daylight, doesn't it? 
Finally, let's look at the average. Averaging is very helpful for almost eliminating noise. If you look here, even zoomed in quite a bit, you really don't notice noise. The reason is noise is random. When you average a photo together, what you get is the composite of all the different values. And randomness of noise tends to average out, especially if you have a large number of exposures. This is actually what astronomers do when they create compelling images of, say, galaxies and nebulas, which are very dark. I've been showing you Image Stacker. Image Stacker costs $17, and in my opinion, it's money very well spent. And I've also showed you how the different modes, but there is another contender as well. It's free, and it's called Star Trails. If you just search Google for startrails.exe, I'm sure you will find this program. It works very similarly to Image Stacker. Here, what I have done is I've loaded all of the images using the dialog that you see here. And once I've loaded them, then you really have two options. You can use this, which is to average the images. And when you do that, uh, I usually, by the way, I usually Im average all of the images, or at least 10 or so of the images, especially the brightest one, because you'll get a smoother background. When you average them, you'll get pretty much the same thing that you saw here that came out of the tool Image Stacker. And when you stack them, which is this tool here, this is the result you will get. Now, if you want to compare, you can see that these images are very, very, very similar. So the tools work very similarly. The advantage that I see to Image Stacker, however, is that it can be run in a batch mode. You can also be doing several things at once, imaging, stacking, etc. The one advantage that Star Trails has, however, is that it has a dark frame option, which is much easier to use than the Image Stacker option. What is a dark frame? Well, remember, when you expose for a while, you'll get noise. So what you do with a dark frame is you put the lens cap on, you take the same length of exposure, and then you use that. Any of the noise that you get there, especially the noise that's there pretty much all of the time, will then be able to be subtracted out using star trails. So there you have it, a survey of the various tools for, from Star Circle Academy. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you join us again.